And now for chapter three. Oh man, that ain't helps me with that kid. Captain Jacklin, I'm still waiting on your report on Ed's murder. Well, the thing is, Chief, uh, we're a little stuck. Harry started off when we told him his, we knew his partner was bent, and... Ed? Bent? This is a serious accusation. I hope you're not throwing it around the ugly officers. I doubt Harry will accept to cooperate further with this, after this. You two should go back to the river. We know it's killer through the gun there. But he may have dropped something else. Man, it's hard to do that voice. like, you're a little congested. <clears throat> Cabo with a robot cat. And I'm like, it's in his head. But you can't tell with my voice right now. I wonder how long this is. Yes, it is. You do look around. Here's a broken camera for us. Oh, wait, boy, what have you got thinking when you get this money you got? This surveillance camera comes from the subway. Look, there's even a station name on the piece. On that piece. Green subway. Not only I would laugh at, at whoever took it, but the subway system hasn't been renovated for years. And I'm pretty sure those cameras don't transmit their feed. Jacqueline, do you think we can fix it up? Then we can check what's on it. If it ended up in the river, chances are the killer is on tape. I'm starting to brush my sinuses a bit. Piece of cake. Great job, Jacqueline. This camera doesn't even look like it was ever broken. Let's send it to Alex and see what he, he can salvage. Remember this. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a little small attack. Okay, we got the results from the surveillance camera. <laughs> Sorry. All I've got to say is you've been lucky that you're lucky to have me. Giving this giving this broken soggy camera to anybody else would have led you to a big fat goose egg. Nothing. But because I'm a genius, I was able to reconstitute the images it captured on the night of Ed's murder. The angle isn't great, but I can tell you one thing with certainty, Ed's killer has blonde hair. I wonder who else has blonde hair. I heard you finally, I heard you finally got enough to make an arrest officers. I guess we do, but something tells me I don't like where this is going. Well, remember, no matter what, you have to follow the evidence. I'm trusting, I'm trusting on you to make the right decision. You've done a fine job, Captain Jacqueline. I'll let you handle the rest. The rest. Ugh. You flub. It's him. I knew you'd figure it out. I should have turned myself in that night, but I got some more time to Thought, I thought. Look, I did mean for any of this to happen, but I couldn't just watch Ed ruin his career. He was such an inspiration. When I first confronted him, he acted sorry. He said he would stop, but those were all lies, of course. So I decided to update Auntie. I told him to meet me at the Queen Station, the Queen Street Station. I said I had a USB key filled to prove the scams. I was, and I was going to report him. But he just, and he just looked at my face, laugh. He said he had connections, that nobody would listen to me. He punched me and we started fighting then. 
I'm not sure how it happened. And the second he was born, he's got me in the next. I, I was in one holding it. And I was lying on the ground. Dead. Jacqueline, can you handle the arrest, please? I don't have the heart to read him as rights. Dude, you probably should have gone to the IAB. That's what they're for. Not sure if you guys turned that notification or not. Every time the every time an officer of the force stands in front of his desk, I am reminded that nobody's immune from falling on the wrong side of the law. Harry Landry, you have enjoyed a guilty plea for the murder of Ed Duncan. Do you understand what this entails? I do. I killed my partner. How it happened is irrelevant. I'm ready to face the full consequences. Given the circumstances surrounding the crime, the court hereby sends you to four years for manslaughter, with a chance of parole in two years. Two years? That's all I get for killing a man and me everything? This is a justice I was fighting to preserve? Yeah. Yeah, poor guy. One bad cop dead, one good cop behind bars. And two guys were deprived of their, father, of their husbands and fathers. Sad day for the Grimsboro police. Well, he'll be. Well, the, well, the one guy's gonna be out in two years. And hopefully they'll understand it. And I will have his back. And I will invite their families to pop books. I would never suspect that of making pacts with villains. Guess you never really know anyone, eh? By the way, partner, if you ever see me turn to the dark side, I just. I try to see the slaps and says back to me, Yeah, I'm dragging your ass out of AB. So we are now done with that. So yeah. I actually know a bit about the IAB because I read a, a book called Blue on Blue. And it's really interesting. It's about the police who police the police. I recommend if you have a real interest in law enforcement, you take a look at it. It's a good read. 